Hi everyone. We're going to find the pH of diprotic buffers in this video, but let's recall that for monoprotic buffers, we use the Henderson Hasselbalch equation pH equals pKa plus the log of A minus or HA. So really, with a monoprotic buffer, the only option we could have was a buffer that contained HA and A minus, and the only decision that you had to make was which solute was HA and which solute was A minus. And I guess you could say, well, sometimes there were buffers that contained BH plus and B, but generally you just had to worry about identifying which was fully protonated and which was the unprotonated form, and then put those forms into the correct place in the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. Now, with diprotic buffers, you sort of have an extra decision to make. You're still going to use pH P equals pKa plus the log of some quotient, but you've got an extra decision to make because we could have a buffer prepared from H2A and HA minus, or we could have a buffer prepared from HA minus and A minus 2. So do you see that extra decision you have to make now when working with diprotic buffers? Is the buffer prepared from the fully protonated and the intermediate forms? Well, if it is, then you'll use pKa1, and the quotient would be HA minus over H2A. If the buffer, on the other hand, were prepared from the intermediate form and the unprotonated form, the Henderson Hasselbalch equation would be pH equals pKa2 plus the log of A2 minus over HA minus. So with that very brief background, let's try an example. So we've got this solution. They want us to find the pH, and it contains the solutes sodium hydrogen sulfite and sodium sulfite. As always, we're given the name of the neutral form. The neutral form would be sulfurous acid, and that name wasn't used for either of these solutes, so neither of these solutes must be neutral. So we've got the name of the neutral form, the structure of the fully protonated form, and the pKa's and the Ka's. So looking at these solutes, if sodium is a plus, the counter ion must be a minus. So this solute would be HA minus, and then now look at this one. Well, we've got two sodiums, so we have plus two. The counter ion then must be minus two. That's got to be A minus two. So we've got a buffer containing HA minus and A minus two. We're using pKa2. pH equals pKa2 plus the log of A minus 2 over HA. And now it really does come down to plug and chug. pKa2 is 7.172 plus the log of A minus 2. Well, you've got the grams, you got the formula mass, the moles of A minus 2, I got 0 0.00833 with an insignificant 0 moles of A minus 2. And now for the moles of HA, again, they gave us the grams of HA and the formula mass. When I did the arithmetic, I got 0 0.0120 zero with an insignificant one moles of HA. And finally, for the pH, I got 7.0173. So again, the key step is determining what solutes the buffer contained. Let's try another one with a slightly different twist. So this time they want to know 
how many grams of salicylic acid should be added to 25 mils of 0.025 formal potassium hydrogen salicylate? So from those names and the information in this appendix, can you tell if this is a buffer that's going to contain H2A and HA minus, or is it a buffer that contains HA minus and A minus 2? I'll let you think about that for a minute. I hope you realize that salicylic acid would be H2A and that potassium with a plus and then the name hydrogen salicylate. That hydrogen is a clue that you've got HA minus. So it's this type of a buffer. So the equation is going to be pH equals pKa1 plus the log of HA minus over H2A. Now, the twist in this problem is that pH isn't the unknown. It's actually the moles of H2A that is the unknown. And this problem really is about preparing a buffer, but we didn't have to write a neutralization reaction because we're not adding a strong acid or a strong base. So again, it really comes down to, at this point, plug and chug. The desired pH is 3.30. pKa1 is 2.972 plus the log of, well, HA minus. We know the concentration. We know the volume. I got 6.2 with an insignificant 5 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of HA minus over the moles of H2A, that's our unknown, I might just call it X, and I'll solve the equation for X. So subtracting that pKa from both sides gives 3.2 with an insignificant 8. I'm going to need to take the anti-log of both sides, and that gives 6.25 times 10 to the negative fourth over X on the right. Taking the anti-log gives 2.1 with an insignificant 3 multiplying by x gives this expression. And then solving for x gives 2.9 with an insignificant 4 times 10 to the negative 4th moles of H2A. And then we could use this formula weight for every one mole of H2A, there are 138.12 grams, and I got 0 0.040 with an insignificant 6 grams of H2A. So I hope you get some practice finding the pHs of diprotic buffers. Good luck, and thanks for listening.